guys, welcome back. So today I filmed another Valentine's Day tutorial for you. Now this one is way different from my last one. It has like very minimal eyeshadow, but it has a nice big pink glitter liner. And I didn't have pink glitter liner, so I had to improvise on how I was going to make this pink glitter liner. Um, I think I came up with a pretty good way to do it, I'd say. I mean, it worked, right? <laughs> um, so if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching and just keep your eye open because, keep your eye out open, and just keep your eye open because I do have one more Valentine's Day tutorial coming up and it is going to be drugstore, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. So starting off this makeup look, I have my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows done. So I'm going to go right in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with my Morphe S26 brush just to set my eyelids and ready and prep them for eyeshadows, even though we are doing a very minimal eyeshadow look. And I'm just going to go over that with my Beauty Blender and then set that with a translucent powder. I used the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then going right into my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and going with the color Peach Smoothie. And I'm just going to be blending that into my crease and upper crease as a transition shade. Just because we're having very minimal eyeshadows today doesn't mean I don't want it to be completely bare. So after I go in with that color, I'm going to pick up the color Beaches and Cream, which is a little bit different but still kind of in the same family. And I'm just going to do pretty much the exact same thing. And then after that's all blended, I'm going to go in with the color Creme Brulee and I'm going to put that more directly into the crease. Now this color isn't really going to add too much dimension, but it's going to add a little bit more depth into my eyes than having nothing at all. So I'm just going to put all that in there. And I'm just going to blend it to make sure there are no harsh lines because girl we don't like those harsh lines and then I'm gonna pick up that same color the creme brulee color and I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line I'm not putting any other colors under there um, I'm not putting peaches and cream or um, peach smoothie I'm only putting the creme brulee shade and then for the star of the show I'm gonna pick up my urban decay glitter liner in the silver color and my um, certified glitter in this pinky purpley kind of color and I'm gonna dip my brush into the glitter because I don't have I didn't want to make like a type of glue to kind of try to put it as a glitter liner and then put it on top of it. So I wanted to use this glitter liner because it had a nice brush that I could actually make liner with perfectly. So I just kind of dipped it every time I needed more product. I dipped it into back into the silver and then I put that silver into the purple. Does that make sense? Because when it ran out of product for it to stick to, I had to dip it back into the silver and it didn't like contaminate my um, silver at all because the pink was already all off the brush by the time I dipped it back in. So I'm just going to be drawing it on like normal eyeliner like I do. I'm doing a lot of hand motions right now. You can't see, but I am. Um, and I do layer it a few times because I want it to be nice and pigmented. And then just going in with any mascara, I decided to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this mascara. I've said it a billion times, but I absolutely love it. And then after, I'm going to be going in with some false lashes. And the ones I picked were the Huda Beauty Lashes in Fara. I love these lashes. If you have never tried them, you need to. These are my absolute favorite lashes. Fara. Oh, I'll leave it down in the description bar in case you can't understand what I'm saying, but F-A-R-A-H. Farah. They are the faux mink lashes. And then going in with my favorite bronzer. If you watch me, you know how much I love this bronzer. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and oh my god, it just is so perfect. It's literally perfect. And I'm using it on my Morphe 527 brush, which is also perfect, so the combination is just perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> um, and just blending it into the areas that I like to bronze and then picking up my Benefit Rockateur blush in my Morphe E4 brush just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and back to my hairline and after that I am going to be picking up a highlighter which is my Anastasia so Hollywood highlighter I love this highlighter as well it's just the perfect shade and I'm just gonna put it right on the tops of my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose And for lip liner today, I'm going in with MAC Spice and I'm just going to be slightly over drying my lips and I'm going to be filling them in as well with this lip pencil. And after I fill them all in, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Orchid lip gloss. This color perfectly matched my eyeliner, which was just so amazing and it made me so happy that it was such a perfect shade.
All right, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like how it came out. It is definitely more on the dramatic side just because it does have glitter, but it's kind of soft outside. It's kind of on the soft side because it doesn't have too much uh, eyeshadow. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.